Oh, there you are. Hot. We're back with more of today, and that was a scene from the much-anticipated next installment of the Star Trek franchise called Star Trek Into Darkness. Yeah, let's just say Spock and Captain Kirk are working out their differences. Good. And I the want I them to get along. And the iconic half, Vulcan, half-human Spock, is played by Zachary, Zachary Quinto. Quinto. <laughs> Hello, Zachary. He's got Zachary. the world's most outrageous Morning, eyebrows. Yes, you do. I mean, Brooke Shields was just here, right but nothing caught me. Nothing, right nothing on you. Come That's on. You know right. what? Because you can't stop looking at it. I know. That you focus. Thank you. That's where yeah. we live, Thank right you. there. That's how I feel about you guys. Not because of your eyebrows. Just because. Just because of your luminescence. All right, so this film. The man just had three hours. I know, keep exactly. It, keep it in control. So you were just in London promoting yeah. the film. What kind of response are you getting so far? Unbelievable. Uh, this movie's so much bigger than the first one on so many levels, just in terms of the scale and the magnitude of the, of the film itself. They and spent more money on it, or just. Yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah. And also, then uh, the reaction that we've uh, garnered is also. Yeah. Bigger and bolder. Because it's a crowded field right now, right? It is. Uh, I think we're the only movie coming out uh, next weekend, the the seventeenth. But yeah, and it's the summer blockbuster yeah, season yeah, yeah. kickoff. So. And where did you shoot most of this? Uh, all in L.A. And uh, then the last ten days in Northern California. Now you had big shoes to fill playing this role. Did you feel intimidated knowing who had played this role before you? Well, Leonard was in the first movie, yep. and um, and he had some consultation in terms of casting. So I knew when I got the job that I had his blessing, and subsequently would become amazing friends. He's so. a very nice gentleman. He's Incredible man. He really, he really is. has lived such a, a fulfilled, creative, authentic life. I, I have nothing but respect and love for him. Mm -hmm. Is this character anything like you at all? Emotionless? Uh, well, no. Where does one go to get his inner spot? <laughs> he's also not emotionless. People think he's emotionless, but uh, he just doesn't express his emotion in the same way as other people. But but uh, when he does, it's fascinating. And when he does it, then to have to, to watch him have to deal with yeah, it because it surprises yeah, even it's him. It's true. Right. It's true. And that happens a lot in this film. Um, but uh, but I think there are elements of my personality that uh, that align up with the character. But but mm -hmm. but I'm I'm also very different in other ways. And is there a little bromance going with you and Captain Kirk? What yeah, seems always, like it. Yeah. Always. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's like your dynamic. Yes. Oh yeah. Have that. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So much who's, who's sexual Kirk? tension. <laughs> so much. <laughs> it's it's palpable. It really is. Um, and I know you, you can feel it. You don't have to like... tell me. I'm sitting right next to you guys. Uh, who's Kirk and his Spock between you? Oh no. Oh, she would be. Look, she's Spock. Right. Are you kidding? Look at her. She's an Egyptian goddess. Yeah, you and me, baby. Bring it. You and me. For all of our days. Uh -huh. So when you're not doing the filming of this movie, you are, you've are you got a Broadway show coming up. I'm making my Broadway debut in the fall. I couldn't Glass be more excited. Right? Yeah, yeah, we already did the production, actually, up at the American Repertory Theater in Cambridge. Well, excuse us. Uh, Fancy. I will. Uh, as long as you come see it. Yeah. Where, what, what theater are you going to be at? At the booth. I don't know. At the booth? That's know. a nice one. You almost said it. Uh, at yeah, the booth. Sure. You pulled it back. All right. So yeah. what's your role? Tell us your character uh, in this. In, in, in the play? Mm -hmm. uh, I play Tom Wingfield, mm -hmm. um, who is basically Tennessee Williams' most autobiographical character okay. in his whole canon. So, so he's confused. He's yeah. confused. He's, uh, he's, he's anxious. He's uh, excited to live a, a life. And mm -hmm. he's an incredible, uh, you know, to, to learn as much as I have about Tennessee himself and to... Mm -hmm. uh, and to get to know his life and his journey and his experience has been mm -hmm. one of the most rewarding things I've done so far. So that's fall? Yeah. Oh. All right. We yeah. wish you great we luck. Might, with we might stop by. I hope yes, you'll come back like you. We do like you. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Awesome. All right, Party nice boy. Yeah. He was at the Met. He was at the Freak Show ball. last night. Yeah. <laughs> and Blue hair got apparently. in at 5 a.m. Anyway, oh, okay. Star Trek Into Darkness opens nationwide in theaters and 3D IMAX on May the 16th.